Mark Zuckerman from MassInSports.com joins me now on the field. Mark, news of the day, Ben Revere is back with the ball club. He returns after injuring that oblique on opening day, his first swing of the season. What impact do you expect his return to make on this ball I think club? it has a big impact, Dan, because this is the guy they built this lineup around all along to lead off, to work the count, to get on base. And I think it sets it up for everyone else. Look, Anthony Rendon is off to kind of a slow start. Could some of that be? He's had to come up a lot after Michael Taylor maybe makes an out on the first pitch or two or strikes out quickly. So I think it helps Rendon, which helps Harper, which helps Zimmerman. This is the way the lineup was built all along. Now we're going to finally get to see it all together. And we saw it the last couple of years with Denard Spann leading off and Anthony Rendon having so much success behind him. Those two kind of feeding off each other. Maybe the same type of deal with Ben Revere in there in that leadoff spot. Now we'll switch over to the left field spot. Jason Wirth has really been swinging the bat well on this road trip. Three home runs on this stint away from D.C. He said all along that he's been feeling good offensively, but the results have really started to come on this trip. You are finally starting to see them, and he was a victim of some bad luck along the way, but I think you're starting to see a little more consistent at-bats, and even if he hasn't had a ton of hits, the ones he's had have been really impactful. Like you said, the home runs. He's second on the team in home runs. He's second in RBIs, despite a low batting average. So the at-bat last night in the ninth inning, I know it was a 5 nothing game at that point. He battled all the way through. That was a classic Jason Worth at-bat. Fouled off a bunch of two-strike pitches, finally found the one that he wanted, and hit it almost onto Waveland Avenue. That's a good sign for this team. You, you tell people that Jason Worth would have six home runs in the first four or five weeks of the season. You know, that, that might be something that a lot of people might not expect. The power has really been there for Jason early on. Now, Jonathan Papelbon has two blown saves, one of them in Kansas City, which prevented the Nationals from coming into Chicago 6-0 and on this road trip. Personally, I'm of the mind that it's still kind of a small sample size. We're only a little over a month into the season, two blown saves in that span, not a major deal. What's kind of your take on Papelbon and how he's looked to begin the season? Well, you're right. That Stats-wise, you go 9 for 11 in save opportunities. You're doing fine. You're doing the job. I think the concern, though, would be that even when he has gotten the job done, there have been some hard-hit balls. Papelbon at this stage of his career doesn't really have the swing and miss stuff that he had earlier when he was in Boston and in Philly. Now, he thinks he can still be successful. The Nationals still think he'd be successful pitching the contact. The problem is you've got to have pinpoint command. In Kansas City the other night, he did not have that, didn't have that put-away pitch. He's got to be able to find that because if he's not striking batters out, he's got to induce weak contact. Otherwise, you're going to have those situations like we saw the other night. And quickly, Mark, one more for you. This road trip. We came into it thinking that it might be kind of a measuring stick for this Nationals ball club. They've now gone 5-2 and two to this point. Do you see these next three games as a major kind of test for this ball club? Or even if they come back 5-5, five and five, does it tell you anything? Well, I think if you at the start of the trip said, hey, what if they went 5-5, five and five, you'd actually feel pretty good about it. Now, when you win five of the first six, you don't want to come home 5-5, five and five, obviously. And they know that right now they and the Cubs are the two teams everyone's looking at as the best in the National League. They don't necessarily have to win the series. they got to play well. The fact they've done all this with Bryce Harper slumping until a couple days ago, I think is a very encouraging sign. Mark, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dan.